In last video, we had seen the overview on Amazon S3, which is nothing but a, a simple storage service. And uh, let us have a deep knowledge on this. And uh, if you see the first point I would like to discuss is if you didn't found S3, just click on services under storage, you will find it in S3. And uh, if you are not able to find from here, then just type S3 over here, then you will get scalable storage in the cloud, which means the storage type. As I said earlier, it is a object based storage here. You can't install any sort of softwares uh, or any sort of operating systems here. It is just an object storage like you can store your MP3 files or MP4 files or images or text files or your web files that you are going to store here. And there is no dynamic sort of websites from S3. There is only a static that we are going to see later. Let us have a deep uh, uh, hands on on this. The first point you would like to notice is it's a global. It is clearly telling that S S3 doesn't uh, require region selection, which means that uh, this is going to be deployed in all the uh, regions, which means that the cloud front is going to take care of the availability of your file. So you need not to worry, but our bucket will specifically store in a particular region, but it is available in all the regions with the help of CloudFront. So uh, here, if you have any sort of buckets, then you can search from here. Let us have a one bucket name. So the names you uh, I would like to uh, from this console you would like to learn is the bucket name. Uh, the bucket name should be unique across the all existing buckets name in S3. So if you are going to create one bucket means it should be unique name in entire AWS, not only in your account, entire AWS account. Next one is bucket name used as an origin point for Amazon CloudFront distribution have a specific restrictions, which means that whatever the bucket you are going to create here, it will be there in every CloudFront and there might be a certain restrictions like the high availability may not be uh, uh, how you are getting in this particular region. For that, we have a lot of uh, services from uh, AWS like uh, CloudFront that we are going to learn later. Now, let us have a, a brief overview on bucket name. The bucket name should not start with space. Let's see if I give space what will happen. So it will tell that bucket name must uh, must start with lowercase letter or a number and bucket name consists invalid characters, which means that I had given space. It, it mentioned in quote bucket name must be between three to 63 characters long. So we, if you start with any special symbol, the same thing you are going to see. So uh, if you start with a capital letter, then it, the first letter should not be a capital letter. It should be a small letter or a number. So I am just going to create with number C123. Testing this bucket. I am sorry, I had given a uppercase. Testing, testing, enough, I guess. The first thing you need to do is if if uh, if you are closer to any of the regions which are available then just select them i am in india so i had selected asia pacific so next thing if you had any sort of buckets already then what it will do is if you uh, whatever the settings available for that particular bucket it is going to copy it here so for now, I don't want to any sort of things. I just click on create. So this bucket name is already exists. So I am not able to get it for that. What I'm going to do is just modifying one more time. So this bucket name is also available. So I just want So let's see with this name. So this bucket name is not there, then uh, we are going to, uh, we are able to create this bucket. So this is the bucket that I created. And next point you, uh, you should notice is 
this is the uh, this is the bucket it's like a folder in our uh, local pc or something and in this also you can able to create a few more folders so the next one is properties like uh, versioning all this will be there we are going to discuss them in detail which are required for cloud practitioner course and the permissions here the management life cycle replication analytics all will be listed here so just click on overview have a look and study all this because uh, ms if you would like to clear any sort of exam you just have a overview of everything what are available in the console so you just go with all this uh, how to uh, upload an image a set object properties all this so have a look on them then fine uh, let us upload one file then we will check it so i am just going to upload one file that is available in desktop no oh, sorry downloads so this is the file that i am going to upload just click on upload so it is uploaded since i am very far and uh, it uploaded very uh, within less span and you are going to see a success message over here so if you would like to access this bucket amazon will give you one url and you can access it by using this url so just copy this one open new tab copy paste it will tell it's a access to name because this file is not a public one so we can't access that file by using this url so how to solve this one is just make it a public make public then we are able to see the success code you just re refresh this then i am going to say it hi i am testing s3 and first so this is the bucket i have and the file i am going to have is 123 uh, sorry uh, index.html is my file name so it is very important to identify the url in exam also just make sure that https after that s3 dot your region name that i am in mumbai so it is showing ap hyphen south hyphen 1 next amazon aws dot com slash 123 technology era this is the bucket name after that you are going to have your file name what if i remove the file name i just want to access the bucket it will tell access denied because i didn't give access uh, i mean it's not a public bucket that i can show you here one minute so if you see 123 technology era the access is not public so i am not able to access it if you would like to have your file with public access then you just type index dot text so you are going to access it so this is how you are going to upload a file giving access to public so if you uh, if you would like to override it then just uh, go to your file this is the file that i have and i i am over writing the file just click on save then again go here click on upload add files i mean downloads in next text just click on upload it will uh, if you are uploading first time then it will immediately affect this one even uh, if you are overriding it which means that if you are uploading for second or third time it will take few minutes to uh, uh, show that uh, changes in the bucket see i had uploaded the new one but still it is not able to take because it will take some time to upload so i had uploaded that uh, file and let us see what will happen when i want to access this particular bucket so you just click on this url it will tell access denied which means that when you add a new file which means that same copy of file you are adding uh, or you are overriding the exist file 
then the permissions are not copied you you need, need you need to give a separate permission for that for that you have to cl click on make public an idea like uh, when we are going to overwrite the same file the permissions of the new overrated file are not going to get from previous it is a new permission that you need to set so that's what we had seen earlier so now we just give uh, make a public access then we just want to access it then you are going so it's my firewall thing that i need to give http so here we are going to see that i am overriding the file so let us make a change for third time then we will see what will happen third time i am changing the file so i just click on save go to console just go to bucket click on upload browse it index text just click on upload let's have again one more look on that whether that properties are going to change or not see it is going to take some time because you are uploading in one region and s3 is going to available in all the uh, regions which means that the cloud front it is going to keep all your files uh, distributed it's like your content is delivered to different regions it need to delete from all the regions for that it will take some time so that's the time that we are seeing right now here so it will take some time around uh, five minutes uh, now meanwhile we will i will pause it and once it is ready i will come back so now it is available that uh, we are going to see an access denied so just go there onto the file and click on make public and we are able to see the success message then you just refresh it so you are able to see that third time i am changing the file so this is how when you override a file how uh, s3 will take care of it so for this video what you had learned is s3 doesn't require any sort of region okay next one is you know how to create the bucket and the bucket rules we had seen already and the bucket will be there in a specific region and uh, but it is available all over the world by using the content delivery network and uh, we learned how to upload a file how to make it public and uh, we had learned that when we overwrite the existing file how long it is going to take and uh, what are the permissions that it is going to get and how to give a public access to that file also we learned so for this video uh, we will conclude with this. Thank you.